Hi. Method overloading is a feature in object-oriented programming concepts. It allows a class to have multiple methods with the same name but different parameters. So this allows for the same method to perform different operations depending on the number or type of arguments passed to it. So let me talk about the properties of method overloading. The properties of method overloading are, first of all, it allows us to have more than one method with the same name and parameters must be different. I mean, either the data type or the number of parameters. And also it improves the code readability and reusability. It is easier to remember one method name instead of remembering multiple method names. And now I want to talk about method overloading loading rules. They are, first of all, parameters of the overloaded must be different. The return type of the overloaded method can be the same or different. Uh, the method can be overloaded any number of times, of course, and any method can be overloaded, of course. Now let me talk about method overriding. Method overriding is a feature in object-oriented programming concepts and overriding allows a subclass or a child class to provide a specific implementation of a method that is already provided by its superclass or let's say parent class, they are the same. And the overriding method must have the same method signature, including the same name, return type and number and type of arguments as the method it is overriding. And now I want to talk about the properties of method overriding. They are, first of all, overriding gives different implementations to the method. One method having multiple different implementations and also overriding a method must take place in a subclass and less memory usage as well. And it improves the reusability of our code. And what about method overriding rules? They are, first of all, overriding must happen in the subclass, return type, method name, and parameters of the overwritten method uh, must be the same. And the access modifier of the overwritten method needs to be the same or more reusable at least. We cannot overwrite methods with a private access modifier or with static and final specifiers. So only the instance methods can be overridden, never private nor uh, final. So now I want to talk about the differences between method overloading and method overriding. Actually, the main difference between method overloading and overriding is that overloading allows for multiple methods with the same name to exist within the same class, while overriding allows a subclass to provide a new implementation of a method that is already defined in its superclass or parent class. And also method overloading is also known as compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism. They are both the same because the method that is called is determined at compile time based on the number and type of arguments passed to the method. And method overloading is used to increase the readability and maintainability of the code by allowing the same method, same method to perform different operations based on the context. And method overriding is also known as runtime polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism. Also, they are both the same, we can call them, because the method that is called is determined at runtime based on the actual type of the object. Method overriding is used to change the behavior of a method inherited from the superclass in a subclass to adapt the inheritance of the specific needs of the subclass. <clears throat> and another key difference between method overloading and overriding is that method overloading is done <clears throat> within the same class while method overriding 
is done between superclass and subclass. To sum up the differences between method overloading and overriding, first of all, method overloading is performed <clears throat> within the class, but method overriding occurs in two classes that have that have an uh, is a relationship. And parameters must be different in method overloading, but parameters must be the same in method overriding. And what about access specifiers? Access specifier can be changed in method overloading, but access specifier must not be more restrictive than the original method in overloading. And as we know, private and final methods can be overloaded, but they cannot be overridden. I mean, private and final methods cannot be overridden, but can be overloaded. And the return type of the method does not matter. So it can be the same or different for method overloading. Uh, return type must be the same in method overriding. And finally, the last, maybe the final difference between them is Method overloading can be static or non-static, as we know. Um, on the other hand, method overriding can be only non-static. I think that's all about method overloading and overriding. Also, I have already discussed and talked about the difference between them. Thank you so much.